Waste tie granulation with plants of Amanda's cow is an important contribution to environmental protection. Material recycling can avoid unnecessary landfills and combustion in cement and power plants. The waste tires are delivered by certified tire sorting plants and waste management. The plant documented here, which is situated in northern Germany, processes up to 20,000 tons of waste tires per year. The pre-sorted waste tires, no matter the size or type, are pre-crushed to so-called tire shreds and then recycled with the gentle warm grinding method of Amanda's Karl into their components rubber, textile fibers and steel. The central part of the plant is the flat die pelleting press of Amanda's Karl. In the waste tire recycling plant, it's used as a crushing machine functioning according to the pan grinder roller principle. For this reason, it's also called a pan grinder mill. The result of the crushing process is the separation of rubber, textile fibers and steel of the waste tire. After granulation with the pan grinder mill, screening and classifying systems are used to remove steel wires and textile fibers from the rubber crumbs, which are then bagged in different grain fractions. The layout of the plant components is in modular design. Thus, the machine groups can be modified and extended depending on the throughput quantity and requirements on the quality of the final products. The plants of Amanda's Karl work up to 40% more efficiently than conventional systems. The product purity is almost 100% in the rubber crumb, steel and textile fraction. Rubber crumbs from waste tire recycling are sold to the industry as recycling product, where they replace rubber crumbs made from natural or synthetic caoutchouc, which are expensive and burden both the environment and the resources. In the industry, the raw materials obtained are used in different areas, as an additive to road topping, as high quality flooring for playgrounds and sports fields, in the area of noise and heat insulation, and in the rubber industry.